Oh, well, hello, and welcome back to Herf House. We are currently playing Starfield. Uh, we are Hannibal Smith from the A-Team. And we are in the process of finishing up a mission. Uh, is that right? Hammer Falls? I thought it was a different one. Maybe it triggered the next mission, which is Hammer Falls. Where we just completed getting rid of the, uh, the first... And I think Sarah wanted to talk Ever to since we talked about the Battle of Cassiopeia, I can't get what happened out of my mind. Yeah, I could tell it was still bothering you. Was it that obvious? Yes. Oh, I thought I could handle these memories, but until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. Uh, seeing the records isn't going to bring back the crew. How will, yeah, let's ask her, how will traveling to Cassiopeia put your concerns to rest? The last time I saw my crew, their escape shuttle was headed for the planet's surface. I need to find the wreckage to ensure their memories are honored. Well, all right, let me help you. I would like that. Actually, I need that. One problem, though. Pinpointing the crew's shuttle wreckage is going to be like trying to find a grain of salt in a sandbox. I think we need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia 1. Um, yeah. You're lucky you made it, made it, you made it safely. Lucky? <sighs> Compared to my crew. I hit the goddamn jackpot. Still, oh, I'll never forget my finger hovering over that launch button. Would I launch safely or explode into a fireball? It turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface. It's impressive that you made a soft laugh landing after emergency ejections so close to the atmosphere i wouldn't call what i did a soft landing but thank you all the same all righty uh what do you know about kcp1 it has a breathable atmosphere indigenous fauna and maybe a few abandoned mining outposts otherwise it's not populated What are you hoping to find at the old campsite? My shuttle should have the telemetry tracking data for the other shuttle aboard. It should give us an idea where it went down. That's if scavengers haven't completely stripped my ship for parts. Okay. Do you think putting this to rest will get you back on your feet? We need to get you back there to face your demons. Uh, yeah, do you think uh, we're putting it back on your feet? Don't worry. It's not as though I'm coming apart at the seams. It's the conversations we've been having. They dredged up these old memories and they're a burden. Okay. We'll set course for the Cassiopeia system. Hold on. I don't know the exact location of my survival campsite. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. I'm sensing tension between you and the Admiral. Your instincts are right on target. Logan and I butted heads more than once during my time with the Navigator Corps. We've never seen eye to eye. Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. But crusades are my specialty. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks. I really needed a laugh. Truth is, I'm scared. When I set foot on Cassiopeia, I don't know if I'll be able to handle what I find. Ah, if I begin to fall apart, I'm going to need someone who can keep my spirits up. Uh, I appreciate the confidence. Well, you deserve it. 
You've always been there when I've needed your help. Why you continue to support me, I'll never understand. It's what friends do for one another. You're absolutely right. They do. Oh, I've been so busy searching the stars for answers. I've overlooked what's been in front of me all this time. True friendship. Something I've denied myself for far too long. Um... Let us today. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you've been critical of yourself for far too long. We'll go with that. You're right. I have. Hey, um, anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I really appreciate your offer to visit Cassiopeia. Hopefully, it'll bring me the closure that I've needed for far too long. All right, we've got more new mission here. Let's see, what do we got? We got Hammer Falls in Hope Town, and in memory, let's my invest. Oh yeah, we're investigating Ron Hoop. Yes, sir, sir Ron. I'm working Hoop. hard, Captain. Uh, let's take all the stuff we gave her so we can sell it. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later. Um, yeah, we're, we'll do I'd that. I'd be happy to carry a few things for you. No, I'm taking them off of you, thanks. Clear out her. Yeah. Clear out her inventory of the stuff we don't want her to wear and have. Yeah. Take everything. Do -do 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 -do. We will be going selling soon. Um, yeah, I have anything interesting for yeah, me? Yeah, take a look at this. Um, Let's head for New Atlantis. It's important to get to Nast so I can talk to Admiral Logan. Okay, oh yeah. Well, no, we're not going there yet. We're going to see Hope. Oops, 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 oops. Missions. Mission board. Go to Hope Town. Let me land. Oh, gonna let me land. While we're here, we should swing by Hope Tech Star Yard and see if they have anything interesting for sale. Oh yeah, like they're gonna have something better than my ship. Um, we should probably lose the gear. Don't think... I'm hoping we don't have to kill anybody. Never know around here. Uh, Persuasion 5, do I have something better? Oh yeah, I should wear the first. Didn't accuse him. <laughs> but he's, oh. That would be very Hannibal-like. Yes. Yeah, that's where the wear the mercenary, the first mercenary is out. I don't want to hear any complaints. Howdy. Uh, let's see. Uh, can we talk to the ranger? Do you have anything that might help to this? Local folks from all over the Freestar Collective come here looking for work. What's the vision of responsibility Think of it as a small picture, big picture proposition. The small picture is local trouble, things that happen here in Hopetown. Handling that is local security's job. We rangers protect the entire Freestar Collective. So we deal with problems that span multiple worlds. Smuggling rings, escaped convicts, pirates preying on shipping. Those are the kind of things we handle. That's why there are rangers stationed in different settlements. It lets us cast a wide net. Um, is there any friction between the Rangers and the big companies like Ahopatech? Not usually. Local security handles most of their issues. Every once in a while, though, we need access to sensitive information as part of our work. Badge or not, some folks aren't fond of letting us poke around in their books and personnel files. Honestly, though, it's not that common. Most people are willing to work with us because they know it's in everyone's best interest. All right, Bye. Let's hoping there'd be something I could do with uh, Mr. White and uh, the security, but apparently not. No help there. Let's sell some I remember meeting garbage Ron Hope once. before we Idealistic go to see Mr. Idealistic and Hope. perhaps a bit of a dreamer. <laughs> but you have to admire what he's accomplished. Hopefully something catches your eye. 
No, you're just gonna give me a give me money for for junk I got I'm carrying. Let's uh let's go with suit dispersal first. I get rid of some of the heavier weight stuff. Uh, no, I'm keeping the. Yeah, I keep that one. Lose that one. Uh, no advantage to that one. Thermals are nice, but no reason. And I just like the look of this one, so I keep it. Uh, packs. Liquid cool skip boost. No, I got skip boost already. Ooh, hey, 72. Well. 72 versus 54. I think the 54 gonna go. Oh, and it's got better thermal. All right. Uh, get rid of that. I don't really have much there. So now we're down to clearing out the guns that we don't want. 22, 91. Hold on to that for the moment. 95. Ooh. Get rid of you. Oh my, you're out of money. Uh, do you have, would you happen to have some wonderful bullets. Yes, you do. Uh, do, 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 do. I buy 39s. Got tons of those. I don't know. If, uh, what's the other bullet I want? 91. I already got a 91, so I can sell that one. Got those. Well, these would can go now, and so can all of you. Uh, no, I'm holding on to you. You got a lot of rounds too, so we're gonna. Yeah. No, not not holding on to you. Holding on to that one. For that. I need to. I have a hundred thousand credits. Jeez. All right. The animal's not broken anywhere. The A-team now has money. Doomstone. Um, yeah, keep that. And then uh, what's on Kepler on the boat, on the ship that I can get rid of? You, you. Wait a minute. I may want that buyback. Uh, keep, keep one of the one Don't need you. Not selling dead eye. I like dead eye. Yeah, no, I'll I'll get rid of that one. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'll keep that one for now. Whoa, 181. Well, that one's got more modifications on it. I'll keep that one. Uh hold on to that for the moment. Nope. Oh, no. He's out of money. He's out of money. He ain't got enough money to be to bother with him anymore. All right, that's good for now. Do, 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 do. Uh, anything interesting? What? Good looking for 128. Uh, that is that is ugly stuff. All right, time to go deal with Mr. Hope. Yes. Paul, this is not an outfit Hannibal would ever be caught caught wearing. I don't think he would ever be wearing it. If you can't protect your own. Enemy's soldier's uniform. Damn it, my video card's getting the hot spot of 110. I hope certainly embodies the saying, especially. I'm gonna have to invest in a few more fans. Oh, Mr. Hope's outside. on the factory floor it looks like just let me out here all right I don't like it when they don't bother with you just leave the factory floor open for anyone to just traverse this that's very generous Mr. big large well robotic filled area we set some ambitious quotas you met every one of the dead. Um, well, I won't pretend it was easy, but everyone here. pulled together and we got it done. I'll let you share the good news. However you like. Thanks. 
I appreciate that. I don't think he's gonna go willingly. How about you? Yeah, that's my thought exactly. Uh, you know, just in case. Something more you need, deputy? Yeah, all right, let's do this. Good to see you again. Well, I've just received a report from the marshal about your progress. He said you had a promising lead on the mercenaries who stole my ship. I trust you're here with good news? Oh, oh, oh. I learned something very interesting. Did you now? Well, don't keep me in suspense. Let's see, which one should we pick? Paul told me you hired him to clear out those farms. Uh, I'm afraid Paxton Hall has implicated you in a conspiracy against the Free Star Collective. It's over, I know you hired the first. Yeah, is there something you wanna tell me about hiring the first? No. I don't care for the insinuation. Alrighty, we'll go with, I'm afraid Paxton Hall has implicated you in a conspiracy against the Free Star Collective. Oh, the, the same Paxton Hall who was court-martialed during the Colony War? Well, I've, I've never met the man, and, and I can't imagine why he'd make an accusation against me. Paul kept your instruction to use the evidence against you. You knew he he knew we we'd find him. Paul burned you pretty good. He gave me the slate with your your directives to the first. I'm just gonna ask him, do you do you deny that you were involved? Don't presume to question me. You know who I am. Yeah, I'm going to go with Hall kept your instruction to use as evidence against you. He knew we'd find him. I see. <laughs> I'm impressed, deputy. It's clear you have a bright future ahead of you. What's going on? What is this about, Mr. Hope? Nothing that concerns you, Burgett. In fact, why don't you make yourself scarce? I think I'd like to hear what the deputy has to say. Start, uh... I want all the details before I nail you for this. Just use the words, tell me everything. Ah, uh, the cards are on the table. So why not? The truth is, we've been falling behind the competition. <laughs> Significantly so. We needed solutions. A few years ago, I began to diversify. We started to research chemicals, fuel, those sort of things. We developed an experimental fertilizer. Oh. <laughs> and it failed utterly. It wiped out entire crops. I was prepared to write the whole thing off. When we made a discovery that changed, Everything. Turns out, our fertilizer was transforming the soil, bolstering its mineral content tenfold. So you used unwitting farmers to terraform the soil? The fertilizer to start. No, I'm just going to go with Go On because he's done make. Yeah. We donated the fertilizer to select homesteads and let the farmers do the work. And when the time was right, we cleared the farm and brought in machinery to harvest the mineral-rich soil. The reduction in labor and materials costs sent my profits soaring. So those farmers poisoned themselves, and you ended up reaping profits. How can you even live with yourself? 
It's nothing personal. It's just good business. <sighs> I don't expect you to understand. Oh, I think we understand just fine. You use the first to seize the farmlands to keep the operation a secret. That's pretty much what you're doing. You're doing this, what was necessary to save your company. You destroyed the laws, turn it into a profit. How can you possibly justify this? I'm just going with first. Use the first to seize the farmlands, keep the operation a secret. I think that's pretty much nails it for the uh, Hannibal Smith line. I never intended for anyone to be hurt. I told Hull to buy the land, not take it by force. Unfortunately, farmers can be stubborn folk. And I couldn't risk any witnesses. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How could you do something so, so awful to innocent people, to families? Not another word out of you, Birgit. I can take your job and more. We'll discuss this later. In any case, I suppose the gig is up. I give you my word that I'll call off the operation and return the land to its rightful owner. Yeah, and the people you were uh, hired muscle killed. What about them? You're right. Of course. Uh, something must be done. I'll set up a fund to handle funeral expenses and take care of any surviving family members. <laughs> we'll do this the right way. I give you my word. Uh no, no. The operation ends now. Like I said, I give you my word. Besides, the work was just about done. With that resolved, let's talk about you. As a member of the Council of Governors, I'm authorized to award you a substantial bonus. And of course, we'll both agree to forget about my little cost-cutting endeavor. Ooh. I understand your positions, but I have a job to do. You're going to turn yourself in. I'll be telling the marshals everything. I like that one. Uh, I, oh, just, just ask a question. Are you trying to buy me off? Did I not make myself clear? <gasps> I'm offering you a reward for a job well done. Nothing more. And with that job so capably done, we'll consider the matter closed? I'll be needing that slate from Major Hull, of course. Nope. That's how he gets away with it. See, if I could keep, keep the slate and take the money, that would be the bonus win. But you're going to turn yourself in and I'll be telling the marshals everything. Well, let's not be too hasty, deputy. There's something else you need to consider. I'll do what's necessary to protect my company and my employees. If you tell anyone about this, you're risking their livelihoods. Do you really want to put all these people out of work and make their families? Suffer? Hmm. Like you made the farmer suffer? I'm willing to accept some collateral damage if it means making you pay. Don't try to put this on me, Hope. Yeah, I'm going with this. Don't try to put this on me, pal. Well, I'm afraid there's no avoiding it. The past can't be changed, but the future is very much in your hands, Debbie. You put me away, and this company will fall apart. You have destroyed far more lives than I did. I'll make myself very plain. I won't let you jeopardize my reputation. There it is. This company, or the people who work for me. 
that means you suffer an unfortunate incident at the hands of my security personnel, so be it. I'm important. You're nothing. You're not actually threatening to attack a Freestar Ranger, are you? You're a despicable man, Hope. And I hope you get exactly what you deserve. Let's see. Your employee's sake, I'll keep his key. No. So, I have no choice but to attack him. Bribes and threats aren't going to work on me. For your employee's sake, I'll keep your secret. Nope. Nope. I'm not keeping it the secret. No, that's not going to happen. If you refuse to come quietly, I'll have to use force. You just threatened a member of the Council of Governors. On my authority, you're stripped of rank. Declared an outlaw. Guards! Dispose of this criminal. Well. We unfortunately had to uh Might as well take what we can. kill that one. Do, 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 do. Didn't want to do that. Okay, putting down the gun did not uh, end the fight. All right, we tried. Do do do. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Come on. Give you a chance. Your boss is dead. You have no reason to keep shooting at me. No reason to keep fighting. Do -do -do. Talk to Bridget. I don't know why we couldn't talk to Bridget when the guards were still present. Maybe she could have got them to stand down. That would have been a cool option. Hey, Bridget. Hey, Bridget. He... He tried to have you killed. I don't understand. Mr. Hope always seemed like such a good person. But everything he said about the farmers and hiring those mercenaries... It was so awful. He cared about people loyal to him, nobody else. Hope was a greedy bastard, put a friend on a printed place. People can be complicated. Let's just ask her if she's all right. How about that? I'm just a little in shock. I'm still not sure I understand what happened. A conspiracy to steal farmland? It's just so hard to believe. It's that's not the Ron Hope I know. All right. Um yeah, uh, it, it, th these two are, are, are tough. Um, I'm going to try this one. I'm going to see he cared about people loyal to him, but nobody else. The first part is true. He always looked out for us, for his employees. Yeah, then that's how you should remember him. Why not? Make it nice for him. I know what I just heard and saw, but... He was a friend. No. He was more like a father. And now he's... You. You killed him. It felt good to avenge the people he hurt. I didn't want to kill him. Nobody should ever want that. Especially when it means killing someone who meant so much to so many people. Not like it gave me a choice, lady. What happens to us now? Well, I'm sure you'll be all right. This is probably the end of Hope Tech. No, must be a second in command. Come on, it's a giant corporation. There's always the next guy in line. That's that would be Elana. Elana Nwankwo. She seems pretty capable. Maybe, maybe we'll be okay after all. I guess 
guess we'll have to figure things out. Find a path forward. There might be some difficult days ahead, but I wish you good luck. Hey, if you got the bones of a good of good ship building and good ship ship designers, anything's possible. Just you know, push forward and figure out what that means. Less risk, though. I would take less risk. Risk. Please do not interfere with my tasks. Alrighty, that takes the yeah, care of this one. Let's see, let's work our way out. All right, we're gonna see where we gotta go next. Oh, most likely uh, Aquila City, I'm betting. I was betting we gotta go to Aquila City, right? Yeah, talk to Marshall Blake. Yeah, Aquila City. What's our inventory? Oh, good, we can fast travel. Let's do that. Yes, Aquila City. Aquila would be a quaint world to retire on if the damn wildlife wasn't so hostile. Oh, let's uh, not be in the first. Let's get rid of this irony that we've got going on here. I don't think I'm going to wear the... Oh, yeah, let's put on the Rangers uniform since we're going to go talk to the Rangers. All right. Oh, that's a boring outfit. We can run, but we can't Sorry. glide. Ah, oh, The Simpsons. Oh, I watched that show like crazy. I've always enjoyed it. Even a South Park fan, I don't have any good lines for that. Here, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Let's go up and see the marshal's leadership. Hey, oh, deputy. she's down here. Oh, he's down here. You're back. Here, Mr. Blake. You know I went to chef school? This, this ain't exactly where I saw myself. Good to you see you back chef school. safe, deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? They were hiding out there, but I took care of them. Yeah, but more like a mass grave now. Don't want to say that. Your, your guess was right on the money. It was their base. I take it that they weren't too much trouble for you, given that you're standing here. Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? Uh, Ron Hope hired the first to grab the farmlands. It was Mr. Hope's plan to save his company. It was, a. Uh, yeah, let's just go with the first one. Let's not besmidge his name right in front of him right now. That might be good. Make us look bad. What? Ron Hope? That's one hell of an accusation, Deputy. Yes, it is. Are you really that surprised? Hope's always had a reputation as a man who'd do anything to succeed. He's on the damn council, Emma. So he can make laws favorable to his business interests. Sure, he's known to look after his people, but do you really think he gives a damn about some farmers on Montara Luna? Did Hope explain his motives at all? He supplied the farms, farms with an experimental fertilizer, boosted the soil's mineral content, but killed the crops. Something about wrenching the soil cost to the point where the point is he's guilty. Something about fertilizer transformed the soils. I didn't really understand it. That's more like the truth. But let's go with the first one. He supplied farmers with experimental fertilizer. First did the soil's mineral content, but killed the crops. That has a familiar ring to it. I recall hearing about some Hope Tech initiative to help farmers. At the time, I just figured it was a PR stunt. Seems a little more sinister now. Please, tell me you've got some evidence to back up these extraordinary claims. Sure do. These are Hope's instructions to Paxton Hall. All right, let's see what you've got. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, this is pretty damning. Especially this last bit about destroying the slate. And you confronted Hope about this? He and his men attacked me. He didn't survive the confrontation. I hoped he would turn himself in, but he wouldn't go down without a fight. Sounds like his pride got the best of him. Damn. 
This is going to send shockwaves throughout the Free Star Collective. If the people can't trust their leaders, anarchy could follow. Have a little faith, Daniel. We're not the United Colonies. One bad apple won't spoil the whole damn barrel. Easy for you to say. You ain't the marshal. Not yet, but you ain't gonna live forever, old man. While we've got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care of. Emma, would you please? With pleasure, Marshal. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged Freestar Ranger? It would be an honor work with people who actually want to help others. That would be Hannibal's their true desires. Good. Duty and honor are the backbone of the Freestar Rangers. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of Ranger. Thank you, Ranger Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage fearless tenacity, and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. Thanks to my own personal biases against the Freestar Collective, I was skeptical when you originally accepted the appointment. But seeing you in this moment, <laughs> I have to admit that I am bloody proud of you. Well done. Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna say thank you for having faith in me. You've shown that faith was well placed. Let's hear it for our new ranger. <laughs> All right. Cool. Thank you, know, you ranger. staying out of trouble. I hear you've been all right your full friend ranger you've been granted your very own star eagle class starship with no registration fee required new ship there's a huge difference between being prepared and carrying too much we have a new ship let's see if it's in our uh port ship's portfolio uh, it's kepler that's what we've been flying star eagle 2,800, 3,800. So I'm going to have to find some cargo bays for it because it's not holding enough. And gun systems, lasers 130. Uh, well, that's better than what I'm running right now. I run a pairs at 92, lasers at 12, and EM2. So we're going to have to do some work on the ship. It's not quite good enough for us. But it's good we got a new ship. For now, I need you to cool it on the spying and keeping lists of suspicious people. Okay. Talking to so, our kid down there. Full ranger rank, huh? Good. Elgus says I spend too much time at my terminal. Let's see what, uh, right. see if Emma's got anything for us. Be safe out there. I shared a drink nope. with Ron Hope. That man can drink. Well, hey there. What's Hagla? Hiya. What are you doing around here? Right now, not much of anything. Doc says I need a rest. Meanwhile, I've been trying to make myself useful, reading dispatches and reports and such. That way, when I'm cleared for field duty, I'll know the lay of the land. All right. I was wondering if she's somebody we can recruit. Security, it's... You guys, anybody else up here who might be able to recruit? Just a patron, just a patron. I feel for the folk in the stretch. Nope. I'm trying to No one we can recruit here. Yeah, I saw the report. You should try Bill Burns beer. It's All right, this is where we're going to end. This one's kind of short. The next set of missions we're going to probably do is, uh, yeah, we'll start doing uh, new memories. So we're going to have to go to. To Atlantis and then sp speak to at the Admiral and start start her quest lines 
So we'll pick up with Sarah Morgan's quest lines. I'm going to do some offline stuff, get ships, mines, uh, bases done up, and then we'll be back. Till then, y'all stay safe out there. Uh, hit that like button if you would. Help out the channel. And stay safe out there. I'll see you in the next one. Later!